Mixed martial artist Augusto Mendez is one fight away from being ranked globally amongst the best fighters in the world. Ask him about fighting three years ago, and he would tell you something completely different. I never had like a dream to be an MMA fighter, you know. I came from Jiu-Jitsu. Um, I'm a Jiu-Jitsu guy. I, I've trained Jiu-Jitsu for 20 years and teaching over 15. Mendez, otherwise known for his nickname Tanquinho, was born and raised in Rio de Janeiro, where he began Jiu-Jitsu at the age of 14. His older brother introduced him to the sport. I was trying to be like a soccer player in Brazil. That's the sport number one in Brazil, so every, every kid tried to be a soccer player. And, and then he started training Jiu-Jitsu, and every day he came back home and tried to put me there, like, hey, let's go training. And then I thought, ah, oh, no, no, no. And then one day, I finally said, okay, I go. And I never stopped, I love it, and then. It wasn't long before he became a three-time world Jiu-Jitsu champion and one of the most recognizable professors of the sport today. In 2011, he moved to Arizona. I was coming to the United States before just to fight in tournaments every year, like twice, three times a year to fight some jiu-jitsu tournaments here. But in 2011, I had the opportunity to come here in Arizona, and I'm here. I have my school here. I have my Brazilian jiu-jitsu school here with my students, teaching jiu-jitsu for them, and making the, the jiu-jitsu community, you know, in Arizona better too, you know, so. After about three years of jiu-jitsu training in Arizona, Mendez needed more. He decided to add mixed martial arts to his training schedule. Thought about and maybe do a couple extra trainings to help my jiu-jitsu career. And then I found the MMA lab here, I started to train, and I started to, to like the MMA. And I thought it was good to, to give it a try and see how far it goes, you know. In Mendez's most recent UFC fight, he was awarded the $50,000 fight of the night bonus after going three rounds and winning by decision. You need to fight because you want to fight. The money is really good, of course, and you be recognized for the fight of the night on that day it was a good feeling. Although Mendez came out on top in his most recent UFC fight, it was fueled by controversy in his debut against the current division champion. You know, his first UFC fight was tough. He got, um, I think it was a TKO. He was TKO'd in the first round, and there was some, um, like, um, disturbance with the ref. The ref kind of jumped in and then jumped back out, which the ref is not supposed to do. I know I was not 100% of the fight. It's not an excuse. I, I, I never had an excuse in my laws, you know? But I, I took the fight five days notice. I need to lose, like, 27 pounds in four days, you know? Uh, I was not in shape. I was coming, like, almost for a month for a, um, Injured on my rib. Bad calls aren't the only obstacles Mendes has faced. In that same fight, he tore his ACL. And before that, he went through many other gruesome surgeries. After every surgery that I came, I, have, I had, um, I had like elbow surgery, I had the neck surgery, and then I had the ACL surgery. So all surgery after that, all, every time after the surgeries, I came back better. Athletes that make the most of that time during their downtime are the most successful when they come back. And I think that's what Tinquino does is like he's still teaching. He's still answering questions. He's still in the gym. He's still working out as much as he can around his injury so that he's ready to go as soon as he's healed up enough to start grappling again. I set goals, you know, when I start. Like I said, I didn't even want to be an MMA fighter before. It was just to help my jiu-jitsu, but I want to commit myself to be an MMA fighter. I want to be the best in the world. That's my dream, I'm gonna get there. For Cronkite Sports in Glendale, I'm Sarah Haddis.